Oh, my head hurts. <laughs> That has that has to be the music to go into the feature what Pitt just did. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Quackcast. This is the Drunk Duck Quackcast and I'm Ozan Ocean. Uh, this is Quackcast number 330. Oh my god, big round number for big round people. And speaking of big round people, we have myself, Ozan Ocean. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Baines. Hello, Mr. Baines. Hello. And we have the infected Pitface. Hello, Pitface. What am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> You've you've replaced Tant Serene. I don't you inf- want to be here. <laughs> you infected Tant and just burst out from her body, spraying <laughs> pus and blood everywhere <laughs> in the true pitched meat fashion. <laughs> so, how are you today? Yes, it was You're... a messy scene right before the quack cast started. Yeah, it was like the birth of uh, Venus, but really tragic. <laughs> So, well, so there was castration involved. <laughs> so what's your um your your infection uh with the poison ivy? It's disgusting. You should really wear protection when dealing with such creatures. You're not my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and Baines, how how are you doing on Canada Day? I'm uh, I'm doing I'm doing uh, I'm doing well. I'm feeling mm-hmm. very Canadian today. You've got the fireworks coated in maple syrup. They're all ready to go. Yep. <laughs> it's all about fireworks, man. You can buy fireworks on every street corner this week in Canada. Oh my! So, uh, you know, for any people who have ill intent, uh, pretend I didn't say that. But by the time <laughs> this goes up, it'll be over. I'll be locked up for another year. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we number three hundred and thirty that's celebrating Canada Day. One hundred and fifty, apparently. That means what? What is one hundred and fifty? Uh, you um, know, age is just a number. <laughs> I'm sure Canada's been First around longer than one hundred and fifty years. Yeah, we do have uh, some crow's feet. I think we uh, it's 150 years since I don't know. Well, I didn't I didn't, didn't know I'd have to do homework for this. God's sake. <laughs> All right. Then let's talk about features. Um this cop this uh, quack cast is going to be about features. Vance, mm-hmm. you you've got some, you know, your jingles that you used to do features. Come on, give us one. Are you ready for a feature? Oh. Are you ready for a feature? I don't know. That's Something beautiful. Like that. That's beautiful. Feature! <laughs> We've got a feature comic quack cast. We've got a feature comic. We're featuring comics today. Featuring comics. <laughs> to the tune of Burning Down the House. That's pretty good, man. Talking I hurt head. myself. <laughs> Uh, so that's what this quack is going to be about. It's going to be about why do we do features, what are features, and how do you get featured, uh, which I did a news post about last week. And uh, this is the goal of every good comic on, uh, it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're doing uh, Superman, whether you're uh, Stan Lee, you want to be featured on Drunk Duck. This is the highest achievement possible in the world of comics. It's like the Oscars married with the Grammys, married with the um, Nobel prize the, and the Pulitzer. It's all those things. This is the Drunk Duck feature. That's right. We've all had one. Exclusive. <laughs> I've I've been featured. I featured myself, of course. Um, Did you? Several times. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I should so have. Technique, <laughs> technique number one is be Ozone Ocean. <laughs> yes. Be in charge of feature. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, you know, uh, Colonel Gaddafi. I award myself all the medals and uh, all the honours of state. <laughs> and this medal, I won this yesterday when I went to the toilet. I just decided to give myself a medal. And this, I earned this feature from this little uh, sketch I did on the back of a napkin the other day. And uh, <laughs> no, Wow. 
got it. Said mental is just full of little homemade trophies. <laughs> no, I got <laughs> featured way back in two thousand and seven or something, or two thousand six. I don't know years. Oh my god, ten years ago. Wow. I'm due yeah. for another one. Eleven years. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Why am I even featured again? You should it's not feature fun. your feature. <laughs> there you go. Of course, yeah. Inception. Um, and you guys have been featured too, of course, for your brilliant work. Typical Strange. Got. Uh... I was featured. I think it was in 2014. I think. Okay. End of 2014. I, I might be wrong, but I believe so. And it was very exciting. I uh, yeah, it was huge. I went to my comic. There was a bunch of comments on it more than usual and uh, I was like well what's all this <laughs> so I'd been featured it was a fantastic day maybe uh, one of the greatest days of my life I don't want to oversell it <laughs> better than Bob but Marley I and the Wailers it, it was just uh, it was just just above that and just below the uh, birth of the my child the one I like <laughs> <laughs> the one you named after me Oh, that's yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh. Douchebag is his name. <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> uh, nasty cast. What's going on here? I'm sorry. Uh, and do Pit, it. Pit, do you got featured it. as well. Uh, putrid meat, of course. Got featured hard. Featured very hard. You've been sort of featured twice, though. So you're a double feature. You've been double right. featured. Can't stop me. That was uh, Brave Resistance. Did Blitzoff get a feature? Actually, featured three times then. Oh yeah, my god, times. triple feature. Triple threat, can't babe. can't stop being awesome. Yep. Now. And just so you have to feature it. I'm going to make it suck, but then it'll be great because since we're friends, you're like <laughs> obligated now to feature everything I make. Yeah, that's that's it. And anybody who gets on the crack cast, you get get a feature. Feature for you. You get a feature. You get a feature. You get a feature. Oprah. That's it. Yeah, exactly. I had to just explain it to so anyone who didn't get it. <laughs> There's a feature <laughs> under your chair right now. There's Oprah. A <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, before we get into that, we have to um, talk about the quack uh, cast. Uh, various. Um, what am I talking about? The, the uh, weekly feature. The weekly feature. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so meta on the Quackcast about features. Here's the feature. You were doing that on purpose. I thought you were talking about it because, like, <laughs> oh, because there is no feature. We'll just talk about features. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> okay. Here's Kawhi with the feature. Take it away, Kawhi. Feature. Feature. Oh. Hello, this is Kwai Degakse, and my feature this week is Holy Bible, the Albino Ginger Version by Albino Ginger, and it is rated M for Mature. We might have heard a traditional version of the Holy Bible in the past, but it is very likely that the Albino Ginger Version will be new for everybody. In a similar fashion as the original, this comic begins with Genesis, but the vivid twist and creative art energy will take your eyes on an exhilarating journey. The art style is reminiscent of the animated shows on MTV in the early 90s. The colors pop, and the style is refreshing. It is mostly colored using digital ink. Step into this version of the Holy Bible. It has dinosaurs, a flat earth, and if you search close enough, you might even find a unicorn. Read Holy Bible, the Albino Ginger Version, by Albino Ginger, rated M, for some Bible-appropriate nudity and mild language. And that was the feature. Quite a Gakse read that out. And what was the feature? It was something about the Holy Bible. Yeah, it was it's called Holy Bible the um, Albino Ginger Version. So that's a pretty funky looking comic and a funky it's title. It's very neat, yeah. Yeah. There's dinosaurs, so enjoy. Um all right. Is it good? It it's good enough for a feature. <laughs> Okay. That's all you need to know. <laughs> all right, the uh, featured music, of course, which is uh, another uh, feature thing. Everything's featured. This is the thing that Gum Wallace gives us every week, and this week Gum Wallace has given us the 
theme to a comic called Motivational House Cat. Oh, interesting title. Yeah, it is. An interesting looking comic as well. So this music is motivational. Has it been featured? <laughs> No, but it could possibly be in the future. A future feature. It's, it's on your radar now. Keep it yeah. in mind. Uh, <laughs> it's motiv- this music is motivational. It's energetic. It makes you want to move and gyrate to the driving rhythm and the feel oh, and feel the sound with your body. This sound is going places. So take it away, Gum Wallace. <laughs> by Mr. Gum Wallace. Thank you so much for that, Gum Wallace. Motivational house cats. I'm very motivated by it. You're motivated. <laughs> motivated to continue the podcast <laughs> on features. So, features. This has been a feature of Drunk Duck since pretty much the beginning, I think. Since, I don't know, how long's Drunk Duck been around? 2003, 2002, I think it began. 2002? My wow. God. The site is old. 15 years. A lot of features. Yeah. A lot of features in that time. I think in the old days, it used to be like one feature a month or something. It was a really slow kind of thing. And there'd be a huge discussion about who'd do the feature and, and what, what, you know, would, you know, why a feature would be on the site and they'd have this little special spot on the front page. And. The site changed over the years, as, as we all know. It's changed a lot. And then we re- reached a point where we were doing three features a week, which was just insane. And that would be, um, it, I don't know, Black Kitty was doing them, School Monkey and um, Spang, you know, various people. And then, then it became just uh, me, Spang, and School Monkey. We were the only admins left who were doing things. And we were working on the feature. And then for some reason, Spang and I stopped doing them. And School Monkey kept doing it. So she was doing three features every single week for months. Just wow. insane. Oh. How could you do that? I hate it's doing them. Just... <laughs> I only do them like every two weeks or something. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, yeah, there's no reason to have that. I guess, I mean, I guess maybe because, I mean, they're, they're I'm sure there's, Tons of more comics on Drunk Duck now than there were when they started off. So like, the material is there, but like having that many seems like it would just kind of cheapen the feature. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's a nice little pet on the back, but like, you know, it doesn't before you know it, your your comics off the front page and it's just yeah. like forgotten. We'll just go by so it's fast, space. and yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it doesn't give them the attention, yeah, exactly what what you're saying. It's off the front page. It doesn't give them the same amount of um, uh, it's, like it's a weekly reward rather than um, <sighs> just one of a, a number of things. Although some people would prefer to have lots of features. They don't want to wait. But uh... who are these people? <laughs> no one. Um... Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, th- she was doing, like, that many features by herself for some reason. And then um, she's, uh, I came back on, Spain left, and I came back on board to do the features. And then I was doing one a week, and she was doing one a week. And nowadays, we just do one feature a week, which, as you guys say, it's better for um, 
it's putting the spotlight on the person who is featured. And I have uh, Gin Joke and Kwai to help me. And we each take turns. And our features have totally different characters to them. So uh, Kwai features certain comics. She has certain tastes. I have certain tastes. And then uh, Gin Joke features all the um, ones that are outside of even our tastes. Which is really cool. We complement each other. The system works. Yeah, it's what you need. Um, it'd be even greater to have like a, a couple more people on board to, to to spread the taste even further, because it helps. Because we have like I don't really look at three D comics that much. That's not my taste, so I don't look at that many. And Gene Joke does, which is fantastic. So now we have someone who can finally you know tackle that. Yeah. Just need a few more people to tackle different kinds of uh, things. So anyway, um, let's talk about what kind of uh, things that features entail. You know, what, how to get featured. That's the important thing. I think the first rule we've discussed is be friends with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> be on the Quackcast. Mm-hmm. Compliment me, give me money, um, sexual favours, uh, buy me beer, uh, <laughs> drugs, whatever. <laughs> I'm open. Gold. I'm fond of that. Uh, no, 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 no. None of that will work. Believe me, I've tried myself and it doesn't work. I've only got he's, one feature. He's winking right now. You guys can't see it, but he's winking. It'll probably <laughs> work. <laughs> so, all right. The first thing a comic needs is to have at least 15 pages you got to have that. The reason is there's no point directing people to a comic if there's nothing to read or, you know, nothing to, like, beyond the first page. It's got to be at least 15 pages. And it shows a commitment to your work. You know, if there's only five pages, they're super fantastic. You know, that's fan- that's great. But I've seen comics that have the best art in the whole world and they're only five pages and they never go beyond that. So what's the point of featuring that? Nothing. There is no point. Um <laughs> Number two, the comic must not be adult rated. There are great comics on the site. Oh my god, amazing comics that are full on adult rated, like with sex and violence and stuff like that. But we can't feature them because they're only available to be viewed by people who are logged into the site. So it's not a good way to advertise the site if we're featuring things that people can't see. And, you know, it's not meant to be looked at by younger people. So we can't have those. Although. That said, sometimes featured comics do have nudity and violence, but it doesn't define them. They don't have that much. So that's why Featured Meat still got featured. <laughs> <laughs> and and Bane's, of course, with your hardcore scenes. Yeah. I was careful to put most of those in after I was featured. <laughs> you snuck them in there. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah. Bastards. Uh, Got to keep those eyeballs on your comic somehow. Good point. Good point. That's right. Yeah, after the feature, all your readership drops off. You have to maintain yep. that 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 exactly. high point. Extend that high as long as possible. Yeah. <laughs> so number three, a comic has to have updated recently and be regularly updating. It has to be. Um, because again there's no point featuring something if people can't go back to it and see with the expectation of seeing new pages it's got to be um you direct someone to a comic that's ongoing and and worth uh investing their time in not just reading an archive or something and never coming back and it encourages people to keep updating because you 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 can main try and maintain your readership by giving them new pages to see it's yep. if you just like if you come to the site you've got your massive archive of comic that you've been working on for years and you just upload it all in one single go it's not going to get featured ever because it's just and it's not even going to get much attention even though it's a brilliant comic because it's not going to appear on the front page as recently updated and if you're not like updating it I can't feature it so it's a waste what you should do if you've got a huge archive is use the queue feature 
and just load up your entire archive but set each page to be updated like once a week or you know once a day or something like that and then you'll get featured and even if you don't your comic will always be on the front page and we'll get uh you know people having a look at it so that's how to do it good advice there yes good advice um number four it has to be good either in writing art or both you could have great writing and still get a feature in and not great art or you could have great art and not great writing but it does help to have both things good i mean the artwork doesn't have to be like a michelangelo or whatever it just has to be stylized or you know honed in such a way just really individual and cool looking it doesn't have to be you know um uh beautifully uh done it just has to be your style but not just a crappy scroll and and well it, it could be a photo comic it could be like 3d or whatever but you know you have to have made an effort that's what i'm trying to say and with the writing i've i've had some you know i've read through some amazing looking comics that i couldn't feature because the writing was just really bad it was indecipherable so Hmm. both things have to have some level of greatness it's just that they don't have to be the best of the best you know both things don't have to be the best of the best but one aspect at least has to be do you know what i'm saying yep well, I mean, I think, yeah, most people know that. I think that you, there's stuff that can be really pleasing and really interesting and you want to read it, even if the, you know, the art is, like, looks very amateurish or it's very weird or it's very, you know, idiosyncratic or whatever. Writing, I don't know, good or bad writing can be so many different things, you know, like it's... But I guess in terms of comics, it's like you kind of have to know what's going on or at least be interested enough to keep going to find out what's going on. Yeah. Or or at least like, um, you know, maybe it's a, it's a daily slice of life or a gag comic thing or something like that. It, it has to uh, it has to grab you in some way. It's, it seems like it's tougher to define good writing maybe than good art I mean good art it's like I like looking at it <laughs> well, that, that's, to me that's what it is like. yeah it's okay I'll give you some examples of, of what I'm trying to get across there like uh, daily comic a slice of life kind of stuff it's meant to be funny I've read through the jokes and I've not found a single one of them even like uh, even groanable it's, it looks fantastic wow. the art, artwork is is really honed but i've i've read through it and i've thought i'm not gonna uh, feature this because people will read it and think yeah. why has this been featured i don't get any of this this is just boring right like it's supposed to be a comedy but it's not it's not doing it or it's supposed to be a character thing but you don't know what's going on you don't get it or or it's supposed to be a mystery and you have no clue like you you know you you don't care or something like that exactly that has happened and but then again having multiple features works in yeah. in that because the comics I've read through and I've thought I can't it's great artwork but oh my god the themes in this story or you know the the way it's written this is just just not not appealing to me this is just no, I bet Quires read it and thought, "Yeah, I get this. This totally speaks to me. I'll feature." Yeah. So yeah, we've had that, which is, it's, yeah. Sometimes it's just a taste, mm. a taste matter. It's not really, yep. um, for sure, whether something's good or bad. It's just I didn't get it. Oh, quite. Sure. <laughs> but we're never going to feature something like what? What's that comic? Is it uh, the Magic Circle? That something? Family Family Circus? Family Circus? I'd never oh, feature something. Yeah. Magic circle. <laughs> <laughs> magic circle. <laughs> That's awesome. Family circus is is terrible. Or chick tracks. I think I actually would feature chick tracks because that's sort of funky in a weird way. Hmm. That at least has a point. But magic circle, no magic circle. Family circus is just terrible in every single way. <laughs> so if you're listening, don't bother posting that thing on Drunk Duck. <laughs> 
but post or your like contract. after you after you get your comic featured, then like change it to Family Circus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like Pitt did with Putrid Meat. That's why no one reads it anymore. <laughs> hey. <laughs> No, we all do. We're waiting for that. Blow. Those those uh those <laughs> updates. While I was away. What's that? I said that was mean. You got mean while I was away. <laughs> I did. So yeah, I, I'm I'm just this is the evil ozone you're talking to right now. The evil ozone. Oh. I shaved off the mustache, yeah. you can't tell. <laughs> I did too. Didn't I have a beard the last time I talked to you? Uh, like a, like so. a, like a, I don't. Uh, yeah, don't like you. Guys. Oh, you had like the little, the little, like the gross kind of like gas station mustache. <laughs> <laughs> gas station mustache. I've never heard that phrase before, but like that's so funny because you, you know exactly that, what I'm can, talking about. You know exactly what you mean, yeah. To go with my mullet, exactly. Yeah. The hair, hair shaved on either side of my head. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this. Um, the comic has to be your own work. It can't be uh, someone else's work. So don't go out posting someone else's comic. That's yeah. That's don't go good. posting family circus pages because you're screwing yourself <laughs> twice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or don't don't have um, uh, copyrighted work either. So. Um, unfortunately, Sprite Comics can't be featured because of that, unless it's pixel art and you do the artwork yourself. That's fine. You know, you do your own sprites. That's fine. But you know, doing recolored sprites or whatever, and fan comics as well. So you know, your own version of Batman. Um, don't do that. Or you know, any any uh, copyrighted work. Don't do your own version of that. You have to it has to be your own. Thing. That's just because it would be, you know, bring negative attention onto the site, and it's more likely that your comic would uh, face some copyright claims or whatever. So it's better for you that we don't feature your work. <laughs> um, number six, it has to catch the notice of one of the admins. Okay, so the best way you can do that is to, you know, update your comic regularly. It will show on the front page a lot and where we can see it. And if you have a great looking thumbnail, um, then, you know, we'll also notice it even more. Um, comment on quackcasts or news posts, and then I'll see it, see, you know, your profile. I'll see that you're around and check you out. And, um, yeah, that will raise your profile with us, but never uh, like uh, message us and say, "I want my comic featured." How do I get my comic featured? Because that's not how features work. We don't. It's not um like some kind of reward for uh like being on the side or contacting us. It's it's just something that we 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 will give you. You know, um, and it's a surprise. Featured. What's that? I said you have to act like you don't want featured. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Like you're too good for it. Like Yeah. Just like getting a date. <laughs> it's the same. Yeah, exactly. To act like you act like you don't want it and then <laughs> then you, you you still don't get it, but at least you haven't embarrassed yourself. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's well said actually, yeah. yeah. On multiple levels, yeah. Don't yes. embarrass yourself. Multiple sad levels. <laughs> uh, so, what does featuring give you? What did featuring give you, Bynes? Um, it um a case of the herpes. It cured my herpes. Oh, that's the first. <laughs> it um. I must try that. Well, I'm I'm since then that now I'm independently wealthy. <laughs> Um, and um, immortal. Oh <laughs> no, wow! No. Uh, no, it was great. It was great. Like I, it was sort of um, it was a nice little lift. It gave a little boost. Um, I think some people, a couple of people, maybe stuck around after the initial feature, like to leave comments and stuff like that. They stuck around for a while. 
Um, then I let them down and they left. No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, it, it was good. Like, I mean, I'd sort of been posting a lot and the comic had been going for a couple of years, uh, a few years. And um, yeah, it, it gave a, it, it gave a nice boost. Like it sort of gave a, a little lift to my enthusiasm for doing it and uh, got it, got it some, uh, some extra notice and a little more energy to keep, keep it going and stuff like that. Um, that was really okay. good. Very nice. Excellent. It's a typical strange. I, I'm pretty sure I was the one that featured. I read so many comics that I sort of, um, forget. How do you, how do you find your features personally? We should have asked. Yeah. But tell us more point. about, how this happens behind the curtain of Oz. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, look at this. She's all medicated, too. I look am. I'm, I've had a lot of anti She's still, today. still bringing it. Yeah, Who, show us behind the curtain in the, the wonderful land of Oz. <laughs> Here your coat. <laughs> well, I'm explaining all, everybody's jokes like I'm a fool. But go ahead. Okay, so uh, in, in the wonderful land of Oz... Uh, in the Emerald City, um, I <laughs> well, what I do is I look at the uh, the thumbnails of the most recently updated comics on the front page, and I see you know any ones that catch my eye, I have a close look at it. Sometimes I get recommended uh, features too from various people, mm -hmm. and I'll check those out. And so what I do is um, yeah, I look at those thumbnails. They look really cool. I click on it, have a look at the work. I see, ooh, this has got a number of pages. It's fancy artwork or really interesting stories. This is a new comic I've never seen before or whatever. And then I just add it to a list. So I have a Google document with all the, the links to these comics in, and I just paste them in one after another in this massive list. And mm. when it comes time to do the features... You know, when it's it's my week, it's uh, Jin Jokes had his and Quiz had hers. It's mine, and I scan through my uh, my links and I go and click on them to see what's updated recently, what's um, is over fifteen pages, uh, what's yeah. I, I read through them just a little bit to see. Hmm. Now this is the kind of comic I'd like to feature today, or this is the kind of comic, and if they fit the bill then maybe I'll settle on two comics and I'll sort of arm and hour over them and think mm, maybe this one this week or maybe that one this week and when I make my final choice then I read through the entire archive or most of it say if it's a really long comic like 300 pages or whatever I prefer not to read through that because that's a, a hell of a lot of work it's a big time investment and I've been seriously burned by that before in that I get halfway through or I get, you know, to the hundredth page or whatever and they come across some awful sex scene or something like that. <laughs> you know, and I realise, oh my God, I can't feature this. Damn you, you bastard. Why did you put that in the middle of your bloody archive? Um, I've just wasted like three hours reading through this damn thing. <laughs> or, you know, I find that... Um, it's copyrighted work or it's been featured before or something like that so um yeah i prefer not to uh invest that much time i, I do a lot a lot more um i don't know investigation to try and work out whether um it can't be featured before i commit myself to reading through a massive archive and yeah so you just kind of flip through a little bit i guess just to see first yeah. to, you're going to read the whole thing exactly yeah 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 because it, if it's too big of an archive do you sometimes not even bother if it's a well it's like 400 pages or 500 pages or something what what i'd do then is i'd read maybe the first 100 pages and the last 60 pages something like that to see whether it fits the criteria and it's still going strong and whatever some there's some comics that start out really shockingly. You know, the story is just ropey and bad and the artwork is just amateurish and crap. And then in the last 60 pages or last 20 pages or whatever, it gets really, really good because the artist's been doing it a really long time and they've been getting better over the years. So 
Well, I, I'll feature that one because it's their work has paid off. You know, so yeah, yeah it, it's worth worth having a look at those kind of things. Anyway, so I'll read through that, and then after I've I've read through, then I've got a really good idea of what the comic's about, and I can write a blurb and you know pick a a good image from one of the pages. I sort of pick my the artwork that I think looks looks fantastic enough to w- work on the front page of the um, the site and I'll crop that down and um, yeah I'll, I'll do my feature based on their artwork and uh, a little blurb and I'm done and that's how it's it's all done it sometimes they can be really quick but most of the time it's a it's quite a lot of work it um, can involve a lot of investment in time there's some comics like i've said you know i've i've read through like i don't know a few hundred pages worth and i've i've come to the conclusion hang on i can't feature this for various reasons maybe i've i've been reading like a comic with great artwork and i'm expecting the story to make sense and get better and it just doesn't it gets worse and stupider <laughs> no more stupider yes Yes, a lot more. And then I realise, no, I'll never be able to feature this. No, or um, I'll read through it, and I'll realise, and 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 I'll go through the process, and I will organise to feature it, and then it won't work, and I realise, hang on, this comic's already been featured. Damn, I wasted all that time. This comic oh. was featured in like <laughs> six, seven years ago. Blast it! Wow. Or yeah, things like that happen all the time, and then. Like I've had times when I've had to read through three or four different comics in a day, massive, huge comics, and I've devoted like hours and hours to this to try and finally do a damn feature, and it's just wasted my whole evening. Holy smokes! Uh-huh. So yeah, that that does happen, but it's worth it to get a good a good feature on the site. Jed, so that's my process. I don't know how Jinjo can uh, quite do theirs. Who knows? Yeah. Got to be kind of the same way, I guess. I mean, the same way you find comics uh, to read, right? You kind of check out the front page and you see people's comments and go check them out and see what their comic is and all that kind of stuff. Like, I guess yeah. it makes sense. It's one probably something like that. One other way I, I've found to get features now is uh, Gumless. Because he does these great musical themes, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So now I have to check out all those, and yeah, like a motivational house cat, or whatever other themes he's done. Yeah, I check them out and see whether they're worthy. You know, it's been a great source of features. You get lots of exposure, to new things. Yeah. It helps, and it, it's enriching to read through these these great works. You know, see the artwork; it's inspiring, um, and uh, the fantastic uh, you know writing that people do. It really it because it forces me to to go through and read an entire comic, which I don't often do. Yeah, me neither. You know what? I should I should start doing that stuff again. I feel kind of like an asshole because like people <laughs> come by and read my comic and like I don't know I, I mean I guess I don't really believe in the tit for tat thing but I mean I, I could really be missing out on some really good stuff you know what I mean yeah <clears throat> I should dragoon both of you into doing features and then you'll be st- no. <laughs> stuck oh I knew that you were like hinting at shit earlier <laughs> no did no did you get that Baines he's like and I need a few more people to do more I did, things, I did. And, this, and there was like silence between An awkward, me, like, like awkward like, don't, silence. don't make eye contact man don't make eye contact just walk away <laughs> no yeah. no I, I'd never uh, like guilt you into doing extra work like that no it was uh, it's hard enough to I, get... I'd be interested in hearing what kind of things you have to do though I mean I would be I wouldn't mind helping out with some things like um, I mean, I couldn't be like a regular news poster or anything like that. Um, it just it wouldn't fucking work. But like, I don't know, just something now and then that I could help with. I wouldn't mind. I, I could. I've been taking all this time. I had to give something back a little bit. <laughs> nothing too. Nothing a lot though. Nothing too onerous. Well, you could do. You could do a feature every like um, once a month maybe. 
something like that. Okay. Once in a while. All right. Yeah, that would be fantastic. That would help a lot. It'll force me. So, and then is there, so there's a way, like there's a feature list, right? Right. That I could like look at before I do something like you were talking about, like you invest in like reading through this comic just to find it's been featured before. So like, is there, there's a list I could look at, right? To make sure that something I'm reading hasn't been featured yet. Yep. Yep. There is a feature list. Okay. You can, um, one of the best ways of checking if a comic has been featured is actually to go to the feature archive on the site and just do a search. And but there's also the secret admin feature list, and you can search through Ooh. that as well. But actually, can I be an admin? Of course, of course. Okay. All all you have to do. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh My yeah, it's it, just it, done. <laughs> it's funny that the the feature list that's actually more reliable is searching through news posts I've found oh okay because what happens is um, these bastards they go and delete their entire archive and then they re-upload their comic with a different name so <laughs> it disappears from the feature oh. list and so you, you search for the comic to see if it's been featured before and it doesn't come up uh, but if you search it in news posts it does and i've had to do that a few times yeah but that that's a rare thing this is only for um like one in a million comics oh. most of the things you don't have to worry about that by the way look for typical strange starting tomorrow under its new title ordinary weird <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of thing people do yeah it, is there a way like can you name your comic something that's already been taken like if somebody wanted to name their comic pinky ta innocently <laughs> or not could they do it it's a good question they only with variations like with a one instead of the i or um i've got yeah. pinky underscore ta so it could be without the underscore or it could be a dash pinky dash ta so it's only that you can't do identical mm. names unless um, I change the names in the admin system. <laughs> I think that's one of the problems. When people delete their comics, the names are still in the in the system, so they can't re-upload their comic with the same name. Oh, that's probably why it happens. Yeah, usually so they have to change the name, unfortunately, unless they get me to go through and fix it for them. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a that's a problem. But yeah, um, yeah, the naming system. Okay, so we'll we'll have to train you guys up, or at least Pitt, to be uh, a feature. Because Baines, you already do news posts, don't you? Exactly, it's exhausting. Exhausting. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it, it. seems like it would be though. I mean, coming up with something new every week that would would be a lot. Yeah, I wouldn't mind like stepping in now and then if, like, say somebody had to step out or something like that. But um, well, we have got yeah, things to say. Yeah. I don't really. We have got a free space on um, uh, which day is it? Friday, yeah, because we used to have Hippie Van doing Friday news posts. Then we had Hyena Hell doing them, but Hyena Hell can only do one a month now, if that. And so now we don't have anyone for Friday. Uh, Nipath, who does Energize the comic, and also um. Heroes Alliance, he has done a few, and he's going to do about I think one or two a month. So if you want to mm. do news posts for Friday, that's fantastic. Uh, you know, not constantly. No, no, you'd only do like one a month, okay. basically. Yeah, it's okay. It's easy. Uh, but let's get back it's on. Easy. Okay. On to the feature thing. So, what does featuring give you? What does it give you? Apart from immortality and all that, like Baines has got herpes. Um, yeah. Immortal herpes. <laughs> Featuring gives you a spot on the front page. Got them on a shelf in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring gives you a spot on the front page. Um, it gives you a person who, or, you know, one dedicated reader, me or Quiet or Jinjoke, or maybe Pitface in the future. Um, 
who has read through your work and has you know uh, given you a review, which I think is we all hope for that kind of thing. Um, yeah. The reviews are mostly these days because there's a lot of features. You know, it's every week and stuff like that. It's usually a, a quick overview. It's not like an in-depth critique or anything like that. I mean, they used to be. I remember when I first started listening to the Quack Cast. You, you and School Monkey would do uh, the feature together. You'd talk about it together, right? Yes, we would. And uh, you, you would be the positives, and then you'd do the critiques, like the the, the good points, the uh, <laughs> you know crits. Do you think and, that was uh, better that way? No. Uh, I think it, it sounds like it was a lot more work, and it might that might be tough to do for. Uh, it might be tough to coordinate, but yeah, uh, yeah. It, it did. Become... What if there was like a? I'll go on. Sorry, actually, no, I don't like my idea. <laughs> we we did do some that. people might not want a critique. Some people might not want that. You know. Yeah, we we decided because that was the early days of the quack cast, and we're still sort of wondering about the format and what we should do, and we decided that. Um, we want to sell these comics. We want to um, like promote them, and we don't want to talk about all their bad sides, <laughs> right? And tell people, oh, yeah. this comic is really great, but actually, it's crap because this is bad and this is bad. And we realized that, yeah, we we want to promote them. And then the other thing was, we were doing all this work for the Quack Cast and and doing the features, and we realized that we were doing twice the amount of work that we should be doing because we both had to read each other's features all the time. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're both reading the same work and writing. Plus, notes. a lot of people doing web comics are maybe just working on stuff and they're trying stuff and they're developing artists and like maybe that's not going to serve them very exactly. well. You know, like it's just more like, hey, here's a comic and uh, I like it and this is kind of what it's about and what yeah. it looks like. And we don't want to turn people off the comic. We want people to actually come and read it. So yeah. no bad points. Though occasionally when I do a feature, um if I if something really strikes me as being really irritating or uh bad about it, I will make a small note about that because only because I know that whoever's you know, whoever I'm encouraging to read this will also notice that. So I, I make a point to say, Okay, yeah, that's great, but there's this. You know, this person English isn't their first language, you can tell because some of the syntax is off. That's the thing. Yeah, I remember you said that about my comment. <laughs> <laughs> Your English is so much better now, Baines. Well, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, there, there's some things like that, or, or they have, have this gigantic uh, title image that you have to scroll down past yeah. every time you load a bloody page. <laughs> yeah. There are those. Oh, yeah, don't do that, guys. In the early days of the Quackcast, it's and I I loved listening to the Quackcast back then. You and School Monkey, you you would mention that literally every episode. You guys would talk about that, <laughs> and it's so funny to think now that like it makes so much sense, you know, because it's like every week every, slash every day you were reading tons of comics, like trying to do these features and like going through all these pages. So it would really be kind of fresh in your mind and yeah but like and it, it is it's true it's that's a huge thing i still <laughs> see it once in a while a lot of comics seem to like they keep the banner pretty small yeah maybe yeah. they have to right now on dd i'm not sure but no you can have it whatever size you like unfortunately and uh hmm. it's <laughs> it's not a good idea to do i don't know why people would ever do that yeah, I just I don't think they know any better. Sometimes, you know what I mean. Like they think like, oh, like the bigger the the title, the more eye catching it'll be without realizing. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they're thinking one page at a time. They're not thinking of the reader who's trying to read a hundred pages. <laughs> yeah, gonna, you know, scrolling down once, who cares? But if you're like every page, you have to scroll way down, so like they don't realize it. Oh my god, it's bad. It's just, yeah. It's like watching those damn animes or something, and the the, the title is like five minutes long for every single yeah, episode you watch. Good analogy, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Wade through it. Yeah, so don't do that. Uh, so anyway, fe featuring gives you like uh, the review. 
it gives you a permanent place in our archive until you and our hearts comment. yeah and our hearts <laughs> and you get your comic promoted on our Facebook page and talked about in the Quackcast so you get someone actually speaking about your comic as well and maybe even a theme although that's not guaranteed because Gummolus does what no one tells Gummolus what to do no one tells that's him. right nobody tells Gummolus what to do that's he's, right he's a free agent but yeah you he's a loose could. cannon the wrong side of the law <laughs> <laughs> There, yeah. He, I asked him to turn in his badge. He shot me in the face. <laughs> You're a menace, Gun Wallace. A menace. He shot me in the face with a cannon. Oh my lord! <laughs> was it a loose cannon? <laughs> it was very loose. It's now loose I have cannon. a loose cannon because of it. Yeah. I'm wearing adult diapers. That's just. Oh, it's awful. That's what happens. <laughs> that's also because you're a lush. So. <laughs> yeah. So yes, that's what featuring gave me. <laughs> I still I still remember when I was featured ages ago. I was I was um very happy to have it featured and uh I think Spang featured my comic. That was a good moment. I I still can't tell you exactly when I was featured, although I may be able to if I go to the featured archive which is a really tricky place to get to. I think we've got a there's a link to it on the front page. The featured archive. Oh yeah, there it is. Featured archive. And you can you can find your comic in there just by typing in the name. Maybe. I'm gonna type Pinky Tia and see what comes up. Or just Pinky. Come on, Pinky. Oh there it is. Two thousand six it was featured. 27th of December. Oh my god, it was 11 years ago. Almost. Wow. Holy crap. My god, so long. Meow. Meow. Complaining cat. Alright, what about Putrid Meat? When was that featured? Putrid. Putrid Meat was featured 2009. Okay. On on May, so three years after me, Pip. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so it'd been up for about two years yeah. by that time. It says, this one is long overdue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that was, actually, I might have featured, I'm not sure. All right, let's check out Typical Strange. Ty typical... Strange. And there's no feature for typical strange. No, there is. It was 2012. <laughs> I think you said that, Bane, didn't you? Um, oh, 2012? Really? Wow. I thought it was 2014, was my guess. Oh, 2012. Yeah. Yes, much earlier. Six years Rick after Man. mine. Five years ago? Crazy. 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 That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's a typical strange. There's a Time's lot going on in typical strange. And I think I featured that one as well. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I did everything. It was me. It was me. School Monkey had no part in it. No, no, no quiet duck, duck, duck say. <laughs> I did it all. Um, yeah, so we've, we've all had our features. Um, what about... Uh, when was Bravo featured? What what feature did he do? Um, I'll look that one up. Interstellar Blood Beast? Is that Go of Viking. Adult? 2008. Demo Viking. Wow. He was featured before Putrid Meat and before Typical Strange. Before Obama was featured. Yeah, exactly. Before <laughs> Obama existed. That's right. Before he was created. <laughs> Before he was cloned on Mars by those gay yeah. frogs. <laughs> what? If we, to, if we were to go by Alex Jones. That's, uh, oh, okay, right, yeah. yeah. But he smells like sulfur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he's a thing. Um, so, yeah, featuring is a thing, and hopefully in the future we'll have... Uh, Pit face as our future feature and future news post. Feature, oh, future. heard it on this quest. Future, future. Look out, world. 
Okay, so this has been Ozone Ocean, and you guys have been brilliant. Thank you. Got you. Bye, everyone. Read the features, they're good. Thank you.